When I'm entertaining, I love to have a few easy to make appetizers that look amazing. Hi everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed and today I'm going to show you how to make a spectacular smoked salmon pinwheel. I've got some gorgeous smoked salmon here. I'm going to take it out of the package and I'm going to cut this into ribbon like shapes and simply roll them up into little rosettes. I'm going to take all of my rosettes and put them into a little Tupperware container and leave them aside for later. Next, I'm gonna take about half a cup of the leftover scraps of the smoked salmon and I'm gonna chop it up really finely. I've also got four ounces of cream cheese. Now this cream cheese has been sitting at room temperature and as you can see, it's really spreadable. I'm going to add my smoked salmon to it as well as a couple of tablespoons of chopped parsley. Next, I'm gonna work on the bread. Now, as you can see, I've got bread that's been horizontally sliced and it has no crusts. I buy my bread this way. If you can't find bread that's cut this way, go to your bakery and ask them to cut a loaf of bread for you horizontally and remove the crust. Spread your mixture all over the bread and then I'm simply going to roll it up like a pinwheel. I'm going to secure it with some saran wrap and I'm going to let this sit in the fridge for at least one hour till the cream cheese hardens and keeps the pinwheel in shape. After an hour, I'm going to take this out and using a really sharp knife, I'm going to cut my pinwheel into little slices. Look how gorgeous it is already. Now, most people serve their pinwheel sandwiches just like this, but we at Cravings are going to take this one step further. I'm going to take my pinwheel and lay it flat down. I'm going to add a little dollop of the reserved cream cheese mixture. I'm going to add my rosette in the middle. I'm going to add some parsley on two sides and just a little sprinkling of caviar to look like beautiful little jewels. And just like that, this gorgeous smoked salmon pinwheel is ready to eat. If you love this recipe, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every Friday, so make sure you're there so you're the first to see them. And this video is part of the 12 days of Christmas. I have some fabulous recipes for you to try out during the holiday season. From our family to yours, happy holidays.